When Jace and I first moved to Harrow, we, we joined a lovely community church who didn't feel they were particularly very uh, sort of good at youth work or community work, but they just had huge hearts for people. Um, and then one, one day they realised that the family living next door to them are a Hindu family whose daughter um, had to have a lot of treatment in, the, in our local hospital. And it had all gone horribly wrong. It had been a huge accident in the... In the um, operating theatre and things went horribly wrong and this family were new to England couldn't really speak much English um, and really needed to have compensation needed to take it further um, and this little church uh, realised that they weren't packed full of youth workers and they weren't packed full of young adults but what they did have in their church was people who could get alongside this family cook meals for them help them get lifts to the hospital they also were some retired lawyers in the church and they wrote letters now this particular Hindu family um, never came into church. No, I don't think to this day they've converted to Christianity. But I absolutely know that the father, when he looked at what this little church were doing in just reaching out to the family next door, no strings attached, just wanted to bless them, wanted to help them with such an unjust situation where they felt completely abandoned. I have no doubt the father was smiling and saying, well done, good and faithful servants. And I think it's because this church said, not what can we get out of this situation, not how can we feel good about my, ourselves if these guys come into church, but how simply can we give away and bless. I think that's what made this particular church really Christ-like. Um, last year, I was running uh, a little project with our young people down at the youth centre. And it's a project that looks at sexual health and relationships. Um, and one of the girls who came on the project, age 15, became pregnant part way through the course. Um, and as leaders, we weren't sure really how best to support her. We wanted to get around her and give her as much support as possible. But we're really aware that we had vulnerable other young people in the group and uh, wanted to just make sure that we manage this situation fairly and effectively. Um, and then realised that we were completely underestimating a couple of young people in the group. There's one teenage lad who'd recently become a Christian. And uh, as this girl was getting closer and closer and closer to having her baby, he announced one day that he and his friends wanted to throw a shower party for her, a baby shower. And he gathered together all the lads in the youth centre to give him a bit of money. And they bought the largest box of nappies, of diapers that you can possibly imagine. And it was really interesting as a youth worker who loves Jesus, but wanted so desperately to get this right, that I'd forgotten that actually this young girl was in this situation and had chosen to keep her baby. And actually what she needed more than anything was a bunch of people around her saying, we celebrate the fact that there's a new life on its way. I was so busy trying to do the right thing and not communicate the wrong message that I'd completely forgotten that. And it took some 15 year old boys who I was not expecting to respond like that to show me that in this situation, the most Christ-like thing was to, bunch, um, was to buy a mega bunch of nappies um, to show that actually as followers of Christ, we celebrate life wherever we see it. That's Christ-likeness. Thank you.